SAP 2000 is a structural analysis program that models two or three dimensional structures and is capable of linear and nonlinear static and dynamic analysis of load combinations commonly required in building design. When SAP is open, begin with a new model. This example covers 2D frames. The default units in SAP are in inches. Set the story heights to 13 feet, which is 156 inches. The bay widths for this example will be 30 feet, which is 360 inches. Let's design a four-story structure with three bays. Click OK. The 2D model displays. SAP has many preset values. For example, there are standard framing materials defined by SAP. We may view or change these settings by clicking the Define tab and selecting Materials. Here we can see that the SAP defaults are 4000 PSI concrete and A992 steel. Let's add a new material. In the Material Definitions dialog box, set the material type to Concrete and User Defined Standard. Click OK. The Material Property dialog box displays. The weight per unit volume of concrete is 150 pounds per cubic foot. To enter this value, change the units to pounds and feet. Next, look at Compressive Strength. I would like to enter this value in pounds per square inch, so change the units again. 4000 PSI is OK. Next, let's specify the modulus of elasticity in kips per square inch. For this example, set the modulus of elasticity to 3600 kips per square inch. Click OK. The new material, concrete, is added to the list. Click OK. SAP returns to the 2D model. Let's define the beams and columns using the concrete material. Click the Define tab, go to Section Properties, Select Frame Sections. Add a new frame property. The beams will be rectangular concrete sections. Name this section Beam. The dimensions are 30 inches. by 24 inches. The material is concrete, which we specified earlier. As we know, concrete tends to crack, so the structure will be designed for cracked sections by setting modifiers. Adjusting the moment of inertia by 35 percent reduces the beam stiffness by the same amount. Click OK. The beam section specified. Click OK. Beam is added to the list of frame properties. Now let's add a column property, which is also concrete and rectangular. The section name is COL for column. Set the material to concrete. The modifiers for a column assume that the compression loads tend to keep the cracks together. So reduce stiffness by only 50% this time. Click OK. Set column dimensions to 34 inches by 30 inches. 
click OK. And now column is added to the list of frame properties. Click OK. These frame elements now can be assigned to the model. Select the beams in the model. Click the Assign tab, select Frame, Frame Sections. Select Beam from the list and click OK. SAP assigns Beam to the selected elements, but also assigns the default elements to the columns. So select the columns. Select column for columns. Click OK. The 2D frame members are now defined.